Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more um, an unlikely son The Unlikely Sons of Carthage. I'll, I'll remember the name eventually. So as far as buildings goes, it doesn't really make sense to build any. I think it's best to just kind of sit on this money for now. Um, I'm just going to hold on to these mercs for now. We're still being subsidized for some reason. Yeah. I really don't know why Castile is still subsidizing me, but uh, I'm glad to hold on to it. This is going to take so long. Yeah, so by the time we're recovered from this, we'll be able to... Um, let's actually suppress rebels so we don't get these rebels if we can avoid them. We might be able to avoid them. Mm, Sunni Zealots should be handled before they pop. The reassessment survey is hurting us as well. We already raised autonomy here, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Legalism for admin points or legitimacy? Alright, we have to wait until we take both of these techs before we take mill. Otherwise, we'll get unbalanced research. So let's spend a couple of points on manpower. Something like that sounds good to me. We also don't need to be paying this. This is costing us quite a bit in edict. So, there we go. An extra half a ducat or so a month for us, which is wonderful. We are rich. We are so rich right now. Ah, Castillo's canceled the subsidies. Feels bad, man. They were paying us so much money for no reason. So as long as Tunis doesn't ally anybody, we will attack him directly. That'll justify... Uh, Tlemcen doesn't have any allies either, so we would co be able to co-belligerent one way or the other. I don't know if I want them. I kind of want to just hold on to them and use them as a uh, somebody to beat up on. But we could have released Tafalalt as well. They have all these cores down here. Yikes, they have a lot. What? They have so many clay. They had one, two, three, four, five, six cores. They'd be a great vassal to have. I don't know what Tafalalt's um, national ideas are, but that sounds pretty good to me. Waiting on these missionaries as well. Where's my rest of my ships? Oh my goodness gracious, we keep losing ships. We probably should build a couple galleys as well. Six sounds good. Most of them will be done by the time we, uh, or some of them will be done by the time we get to war with Tunis. Um, so right now we're just waiting. Hopefully he doesn't ally anybody. He has ally He's got a royal marriage with Morocco. Hmm. We'll see. May of 79. That's what I'm waiting on. Convert the heretics. This is helping out with our religious unity. Let's go with... Uh, hmm. Is there a lot of desert down here? Eh. Not where we'll be fighting. We'll be fighting mostly in the highlands. So how much are you guys still mad at me? Better Diplotech. Trust. Opinion. So yeah, we definitely need to be improving relations with these guys. Should have been doing that the whole time. As far as this, let's go with... Uh, Feudal du jour might actually be better for now. No, we don't have any rebels. Let's go with AE Impact. All these guys should be going down. Wonderful. We're waiting on this until we get these two. First idea group is probably going to be qual quantity. Uh, that way we can build up a big strong army. Ottomans are still at war. Wow, Austria got called in. Ottomans should lose this actually. If Castile can get his men over there, I don't see how they lose how they win that war. Nice. We're still converting everything. Biskra. Let's do it. So this one will be done soon. So we have no rebels to worry about, which is wonderful. Just turn off our army for now. Get a little bit more money in the bank. They'll tick up slowly, but we'll be able to handle them before they pop. Truce is coming up here in May of next year. All right, finally, Jack Thompson the first. Um, we could certainly afford some advisors, so we should probably do that, eh? Let's get some prestige. And then, uh, some maintenance. Sounds good to me. 
You guys will be rising up in Biskra. So let's raise a ton, raise our uh, army here. What's all that cost for? Reinforcements? A few mercenaries, right? Yes, that's costing us a bit. An heir is a 2 2 4. It's not too bad. You will be bloodbound. Bloodbound the first. One more month. The pretender rebels are tend to be a little more uh, feisty than what I'd like. Yeah, like we just lost a thousand men from that. Very good. Let's get rid of you guys. National unrest and missionary strength versus heretics. That's super nice. That's actually going to help us clear that out much quicker. Let's have you suppress rebels just so we don't have to deal with them. This truce is coming up soon. We'll end up having to merc up, but we'll have the cash on hand to do it, so I'm not concerned. We're also going to have miltech on them. How? When will you guys be happy? Hmm. We'll see here. So what's probably going to happen is I'm going to attack and annex as much land from Tunis as I can. I will separate piece him out with a white piece, which will allow me to call him in in five years to shorten the truce with Tunis, assuming he doesn't have any more friends. That's the goal. That's what we're looking for with this one. Coming up in May, <clears throat> he might be looking to ally Ottomans, so I really hope not. <sighs> Just royal married Morocco. We'll stick with legalism so we can get tech cheaper. And let's go with uh, quantity. We will take Miltech. And then we are very close to getting our first idea group, which will give us more manpower, which is exactly what we need. Um, let's get you guys brought home. I really hope he doesn't ally the Ottomans in the next two months. It's gonna... Our truce with Tunis is over. Wonderful. Thompson, we don't need to co-belligerent. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Uh, Tunis has quite an army, actually. Lots of manpower as well. So we're going to take on some debt from this one. But I'm not particularly worried about it. Let's declare the war. We'll go for Hodna. And uh, you guys can attach to me. First and foremost, we need to beat up on Tunis's army. So where are you guys heading? Hmm. Yeah, it's a bummer that we can't catch them. I would like to siege down Figwig first. I don't want them to join up their armies. That's a big one. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Low morale. Low morale is good. They might, they're going to get one more reinforcement tick. They're locked in there. They will not get another reinforcement tick. What? What? How are you so fast, brother? What? Give me a freaking break. I do not agree with that in the slightest. Whatever. It's fine. We'll be able to fight them here. Should be an easy win. We have Miltech and Tactics Advantage, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, their Cav hopefully will not reinforce. They did. No way. I don't believe this for a second. There we go. Okay. Very good. He's going to come on in and get destroyed. Very good. Yikes. It's going to help our manpower out quite a bit. We are going to slacken our recruiting standards to uh, get some manpower. We're going to need to reinforce our armies big time. So we don't want to get siege down at all. Um, let's see here. You guys are pretty close, actually. We're definitely going to be taking out loans for this one. We're also gaining corruption for some reason. Ten ducats a month, man. Jeez, oh, Pete. Catch this little one stack out. This is Highlands. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. I'll gladly come over here and take these. How are they so fast? I do not get it. See if we can get that three stack. Hopefully they don't reinforce in time. They will not. Now they're attacking me, which I kind of don't want to happen. Yeah. Hmm. We are Highlands with a superior general, but they're flanking us. They got a really good roll in the shock as well. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna have to flee from this one. 
Okay. Now's the time where we take out loans. Should be fine. This will be a very expensive war, but it will be worth it. I'm confident of that. And so now we're going to have to convert most of our manpower over into... Oh, come on now. Let's get you guys over here. We have rebels now in our lands, which is super fun and engaging. So let's take most of our manpower and consolidate the regiments. So we're not over our force limit, which is going to help us out a bit. Let's take out a couple more loans, get some more mercs. It will be worth it, like I said. Trust. Trust, trust, trust. Oh, we're gonna lose this one. Yeah, we're gonna lose that, that little one. That's a bummer. Let's get that two stack of cav, that's gonna be a big one. That's a lot of money for him that he's gonna be losing. So they just lost to those rebels, which is hilarious. How are they so fast? I literally do not understand how these little armies are so fast. Okay, so we need to make some progress here. Um, let's also turn off this uh, edict so we're not paying for it. How does their navy look? So they have six galleys. Hmm. Administering an empire. All right. So, Thompson is, we do have them, they have seven cav. That's crazy. So as far as Miltech, we, sh we should be quite far ahead of them, correct? Six to our seven. Their general is a two, two, ours is a three, one. I think we just base race them. Take the little overruns if we can. They might attack me over here, which would be unfortunate, but... We also need to be having spy network built on them for siege ability. That should have been happening a while back. We're also losing a lot of money from our uh, advisors, so let's get rid of them. So we're not taking as much loans out. Uh, autonomy change and promoted cultures. Mm, let's go with promoted cultures, I suppose. Help later on with age objectives. Now, somehow, I assume it's just because they don't, they have Hodna. Yeah. And they're sieging down a bunch of random small provinces that don't matter. We'll take the legitimacy. I would really like to take this quick. They have set so... Mm. Gonna extend on my capital here. Do they have a siege guy? One siege pip. Really need to get this land siege back though, otherwise we're gonna have to... We're gonna really start hemorrhaging money. Okay, there you go. Siege that province down. Maybe Castile would actually defend their land. That would be great. Okay, very good. Kef is ours. Let's head on over here. We want to just white peace, Clemson. That's the goal. They won't be able to siege back, Kef. There you go. They're literally boat bombing men. They just suicided that army. That is really dumb. All right. So the goal is to stack wipe this little army, white peace them. That will allow us to completely focus on them. On uh, Tunis, that is. If they want to come over to Kef, that's fine because they have a we have a defensive bonus there. So Clemson's army has been killed. They do not have low enthusiasm, so we're just gonna have to siege them down by the looks of it. How in the world? Yikes! Okay, well, change of plans. We do not want them to win that siege. Their siege pips or siege ticks are super fast. I don't want them carpet sieging me either. That's super annoying. Think we can hang. They have a heavy. Dang, man. 
Let's see here. If we can... If we can hang. If we can blockade his capital, that's gonna help. Yikes, that's a big navy. Mostly transports. Catch his heavy out, that'd be great. That three stack is an easy pickings. There we go. Transports. His galleys might poke out, but they might not as well. Should be a win. His galleys are coming out, so as soon as they join, we're just gonna flee. So we sunk two of his lights. That's good for us. Let's get over here. Um, we should be fine. This is Highlands, and we have a superior general. Disease outbreak, perfect. They're gonna get a reinforcement tick, I assume. And they will not. Wonderful. So it should be a win for us. They rolled a seven in the shock. We rolled a one in the shock. We rolled. <laughs> really? Uh, I'm d I'm over it. That's dumb. That is so dumb. All right, cool. And for some reason, I'm fleeing over there. So let's head over. I'm really getting tilted. There we go. I'm fleeing into him. I didn't even get to choose where I was fleeing. If I get stack wiped, I'm actually just gonna 1444 it. Get away from me. They took Kef back. Let's get them off my capital if I can. I would really like for you guys to not do this. No, come on now. Wait, what? Did I not? Okay, we should be fine then. Wait, what? <clears throat> Come again. Hmm. Alright. Let's take some time to uh, recoup from that one. If they siege down my capital, I might end up needing to uh, surrender. Which is definitely not ideal. Let's see here. I'm not gaining as many men. Some more war manpower is great. They're going to attack me here. Let's get them off my capital. I need to get them off my capital. Please. They are so fast. Why are you so fast? Are you kidding me? How are they on the 18th and I'm on the... We have to surrender to them. We have to. There's no way we can win this. Yikes. They want to full annex me. Alright, this might be a 1444, boys. I do not understand this. We have Miltech mil advantage as well, so... Granada's not helping either. Lost our capital. Alright, cool. Well, I think this is definitely a 1444. Very disappointing, but uh, it's a tough start. Alright, cool. Well, we are going to 1444. I will bring you guys back in the next one. Hopefully we can get a similar opening strat to what we did in the first time. I'm not too upset about the reopening. It's fine. Uh, this is a tough open, so... <laughs> It is what it is. Learn from it. Uh, maybe we need to be a little more diligent about managing Tunis's stacks. Don't let them get their armies grouped up. Don't let them siege down my random desert provinces so I have manpower and money coming in. So I think we can learn from this. This is too bad. This is 
disappointing, but it's not the end of the world, so a bit of a shorter episode. Hope you guys are all right with that, though. Um, we're going to get started back on the new one as soon as possible. So hope you guys enjoyed. Please show your support. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And then if you want to check out the Discord or support me on my Patreon page, the links for those are in the description below. With all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to my new supporter, John Thompson, as well as my other two top supporters, Palmer and Bloodbound. Also, thank you to Jonathan Crane, Jaron Clampett, Lambda Driver, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Zwayhander, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, Christopher Pegolo, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to check out the series we have linked on the left and right, and don't forget to subscribe.